Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Finchie and I do hope you're ready to talk planting with me today. I have some propagation related tasks. I could use some emotional support eyeballs for. One of them makes me want to cry, so we are going to sandwich it between two that don't. First, we're going to go through all of my prop boxes from all over my house and put them together. And then, second, I'm going to cut apart one of my favorite plants that is quite literally rotting from the inside out. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. I can't believe I'm gonna say it out loud. <sighs> Last. We will reward ourselves with chopping some other plants that are not as dying, which is fun. Cutting not dying plants is usually fun. Full disclaimer that five seconds before hitting record on here, a full on spider mite ran across my phone screen. So I'm assuming all the plants around me are spider mite infested until deemed otherwise. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. This is a basement, so it is what it is. So uh, no, no judgment if we find thousands of spider mites. My skin is already crawling. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so let's combine some prop boxes. I don't know how many I have. I don't feel like counting. There's a couple beside me. Most of them from upstairs. I have no idea if everything in here is alive, so we're gonna find out together. Oh, I can already see things not looking so great in here. E. Everything I got sent in December just did not do well. I don't know. I don't think it's rotting. I don't know. I'm still gonna stick it in moss without, but variegated ZZ. It doesn't look good. Silver sword. Okay, this is somehow still alive. I don't know what it is. Same for this. Not mushy. I don't... I don't know. Some random piece of oil. That's all that was in there? Oh, this is a fun box. I like everything in here. <laughs> look how cute. That's a pink princess. Most of this is pink princess, and nothing in here looks dead, although one tip of this, whatever that syngonium was, looks a little bit crispy. We're just gonna move stuff into moss, let's see. Oh, we're gonna have a whole box of pink princess one day. Look how cute. I love baby pink princesses, they're just so adorable. They're probably gonna do so much better in this boss mop. They're probably gonna do so much better in this box of moss. Another little pink princess. <laughs> so cute. Oh, no sheep. I'm not doing anything. Oh, let's go. We have green and whatever this zingonium was. I'm pretty sure it was that weird purple zingonium. Oh, this one's dead we got one little growth point i think i'm just gonna go ahead and chop this none of it is dead i just want the other ones to activate too so why not we have pink princess out the wazoo i want more see it's still alive my goal in life for every human on the planet to have pink princess in their house this is Aglaima Modesto Vergata. This end is looking kind of yucky, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and chop it. Yum. A piece of that weird syngorium I cut spontaneously, and it's not dead. It's not squishy. Very weird. These roots are kind of yucky, though, so it's a little... Good luck, sis. You look unwell. Um... Let's chop this little leany-teeny. 
So many pink princesses. What else? Oh, another pink princess. Shocker. Never expected that. And we're just gonna go with whatever that was is dead. Don't know. Anything else? Nope. Final spider box and it's the best one, which is definitely why I wanna swap. Like, everything in here did fine and I forgot about it. This is a piece of the plant we're going to cut after I do the horrible task. And look how cute, oh my goodness. Full of mystery sticks. Sigmonium. It's not dead, but that looks disturbing. <laughs> Don't like it. <laughs> I believe that's variegated heart leaf, but who knows? So my camera died and I didn't notice. So that's fun. Put the rest of the little plant plantlets, baby plants in here. There's a piece of the autumn green. There's another piece of, what a cute little white wizard you are. You are right in next to your brother. Oh, rotate just clicked off. It's midnight. Where'd it go? <laughs> They're so cute. Whoa. Roots only. And it was super over potted. It had like no roots, so I like just stuck it in this little box. And I'm gonna keep living in the box. Here's an alocasia I almost killed. Still alive. I don't wanna say I almost killed it. I accidentally left it in my garage overnight, not knowing that it would freak it out. So she lives. I don't know what this is, but it's got a mushy end. <laughs> it's a mystery. I cut my finger cutting a muffin. Yes, I used a sharp knife to cut a soft bread product. Questionable judgment. I am aware. <laughs> so I have no clue what this is going to be. Not the slightest. No idea. What else we got? A mystery. It's a mystery. It's alive. Oh, the second little alocasia is also alive. Look at that. What a cutie. Good job. You can be next to your brother as well. No clue. That looks dead. This is a piece of Bromark's fantasy. It just never does it did anything. Does anything. This is just what it looks like. Not rotten. Maybe it'll like this box better. Oh my gosh. I know they're all like weird mystery syngonium. Who knows? And another one. That looks dead. Yeah. That looks dead. Yeah. Anything else in here alive? Oh, dead. Not mushy. It's the third little alocasia, but it's not mushy, so we'll hold on to it. We'll see. Anthurium crystallinum. Tiny baby. Not really growing. Maybe it'll be happier in here. It's so cute though. It's already sparkly. No clue. I think that's everything in here. Got my little salad. But I'm gonna take all these pink princesses. I put rooting horn on some, but not on others. I just wanna like see if it does anything. I don't know, we'll see if it matters. I've never used rooting hormone on a like wet stick 
uh, pink princess before. I really had to. They just like they're they literally grow like weeds. There was more. I do. Anyway, pink princess. I'm gonna water it in a second. I want to put these pink princesses into moss. This is Sarai. I cut her up literally 10 days ago today, and this is what she looks like now. Most pieces have a starting growth piece, like a little bud that's activated and so one even has a whole heap hiking leaf which is really neat so where did I take a look at her this is Mr. I make sure none of it is rotten and this little nubbin it only took 10 days Yeah, I'm gonna cut this one further. It's got a baby. It's a cute leaf too. I'll let those dry a little bit. This I cut this kind of in a panic last night after I found the plant we're about to cut because some of the leaves looked a little sickly, so I just panic cut the whole vine off just in case and just in case I don't know I just want it to be here in case something happens I don't know. I'm scared now when the middle of a vine gets sick I'm scared but anyway here is some other stuff this is like pink pink shot pink something and going in, but throughout this insane runner, and I cut the whole thing off. Most of this is that. <laughs> My little pile. Well, that's all of those. I can procrastinate no longer. Do you have this little thing of Hoya Chelsea? But I think I'm just gonna leave it because, it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Plus, that moss smells funny. <laughs> Came from a greenhouse. It just smells really strange. Those dry for a little bit. You get spider mites while they do. I can't put it off any longer. I had to take a moment to center myself before this. I have a plant that I This is what my philodendron gabby looked like on the first of February. And this is what she looks like right now. Cry. It makes me so sad. So, what had happened was she was living in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet and she put out two leaves like they were unfurling on her way to me and one on each vine. This is one vine that split and was two really long vines. One was almost totally white. She put a couple leaves with me, no problem. And then randomly one day I picked her up and one leaf had brown in the middle of the vine. But it was like a totally white leaf, like it literally looked like that. So I was like, eh, whatever. It happens. 
decided to bring it back down here to the grow tent, which I don't know if that is a factor, but but I went to check and see if she needed to be watered, and I picked it up and literally like five or six leaves fell off. But they weren't brown, they just were totally healthy, like from all the way down to where like the leaf connects, it was just fine. I still am flabbergasted as to what happened. It seems like it started to rot from the center out. So this was the middle of the vine. And there's like still green in there, which it looked even better last night before I cut it off. This was so many, I don't even wanna count that. I'm not gonna count the nodes. I'm not gonna put myself through that, but it is, it is so dead. It is like, this is one of the most dead plants I think I've ever had. And I don't understand how that happened. I immediately panicked and grabbed shears and started to cut. And as I cut further down the vine, the rot had all, was like the center of the node. And I've never, I've never experienced anything like it. I didn't put anything on these, so I don't know what that is. I literally cut these in a panic last night. I don't expect any of them to live. Maybe the top cut. Such a bummer. I have five leaves that were still kind of yucky in the center, so I expect them to die. And then I have this whole vine. And I'm gonna literally cut it back to just the roots. Like, we're gonna go as far back as we can go. I'm scared. I'm I'm frightened. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's something that I did. It was doing fine until it wasn't. It was so pretty. I'm so sad. Let's just do it. These have been sitting since last night, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in this box before I cut. Ugh, God, I hate wet moss, it's so nasty. Yeah, that one especially looked bad. There's no way they're all gonna fit in this. This makes me so unbelievably sad. As someone who tries so, I'm literally gonna cry. As someone who tries so hard to like do everything right, it just breaks my heart. What did I do? Can I, can I at least learn a lesson so that I can't make the same mistake twice? Oh, I'm crying. I'm pathetic. Okay. I don't even know where to cut. I'm so scared. Cut right above. Ooh. Okay, well, I think that looks normal on the inside, so that makes me feel a little bit better versus what I saw last night that was like much darker and spooky looking. That looks like ish, although that looks like there's some sus in there that's spooky. All right, well, we're gonna sanitize in between every cut for extra precaution. Oops, see, like, the leaves just, like, fell off like that. And that was the leaf connected to this node. They didn't even look that yellow. That one looks pretty yellow. I want to inspect every cut, too. So curious. I don't know. Is healthy or not. Oh, I dropped it. My camera died again. So this is my sign to stop lolly daddling and let's just cut. I'm just gonna do it and we're gonna get it done. I will say this side looks very healthy, so I have way more hope for this side.
I'm not worried about these. They all look very, they all, they all look very healthy. That's what I got for Abby. Here's the base, which I could probably cut further. I'm not going to. Oh my gosh, why do I always end up sticking my hair in the cup of alcohol? Oh my god, I did it last time too. Ugh! I should just cut it all off. And then I fling dirt everywhere too. Rip. Thanks for being my emotional support. I boss you that. That was actually quite difficult. I have a little line up of plants right here. But before I mess with them, I'm going to ready the big prop box, which I bet you were like, she combined her prop boxes, but there were still just as many prop boxes in the end as there was in the beginning. And you're correct, because we're going to combine them all into a big one. I also found this little guy I forgot about. <laughs> Two more pink princesses in this little pot that I had upstairs. <laughs> I also have this strawberry shake node. The tip is still red, but I'm gonna unpot it and look at the, this because this is exactly how I got it and I've done, done nothing with it but keep it watered. So I'm going to See if it's alive. I don't think it is. But this one will join her siblings in the box. I'm gonna have so many pink princesses. This is taking a toll. Mentally, I am worn out. There's not as much room as I thought there would be. It's pretty full in there. The one with the blue lid's gonna go back in the tent. I have it sitting on top of a light. It's like a, its own little heat mat. This is the first fellow we're gonna chop. This is Gandalf the White Wizard, who has been through a lot. He was like this tall when I got him and he had previous pest damage. And I haven't seen any pests on him. Just his battle scars. So we're gonna give him the full chop back. This leaf got stuck and then I accidentally cut part of it off and then I burnt this leaf and he was ridiculous. So I'm just literally gonna cut him back to here and cut into a bunch of pieces. Some pieces are gonna water prop. Probably the whole thing. Ooh. Ooh. I think that little growth in the bin right there though. Like, they go from taking up so much space, taking up less space on the shelf. And then we have multiple plants. I have a couple little babies in this guy. Ooh. 
And there was two. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. That's a cute little bag. Really family. This one look healthy, so I don't want to separate them either. So now I have two more white wizards. They're gonna go in the air garden. Right there. Once they have dried. Here is Tricolor Knight, who's not very tricolor. Still beautiful. I was waiting for this leaf to see if there's any white in it at all. There wasn't. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut him all the way down to his base too and then basically do the same. Why am I so nervous? What did right here? The leaf came off. Ooh. She bleeding. Look at this cute little healthy baby right there too. All green though. Well, relatively healthy. I thought I saw a thrip and my heart sank. It's cute now though. Let's see. Out armpit baby. Bleed on my new rug. I got a rug for Valentine's Day and it is so beautiful. It was only $167 on Amazon too, which is surprisingly affordable for a rug this size. 10 out of 10, 5 stars, 2 thumbs up. Ooh. Whoop! <laughs> a BEB. I call these armpit babies. Another armpit, baby. This one looks like it has the potential to have some white. That would be sweet. <laughs> Broken on a dang leaf. Seven cuttings. Cool. This is gonna be a quick chop. And this pink princess. <laughs> the size. <laughs> what? It's a little, a little burnt. We had an issue. I don't remember what she looked like when I got her, but I had an issue with some grow lights. Seriously, this is massive. Like. Where is my hand? <laughs> she's doomed. She's just... She's just living it, her life. So we're gonna... <coughs> oh. Wow, that was even a little bit. Not that this is much better. This is still kind of a disaster. But she's got an armpit baby growing. I even like dark pink princesses. We're about to cut another one. Ooh. This one doesn't look healthy, but there's one pink princess. As if I need more. I'm just gonna leave this one on the stick. Two pink princesses. It's so pretty. Look how beautiful. It's 
so dark. This leaves ugly. What are you doing? Pink princess, who are you? They bled all over me. I forgot how many we counted, so. Oh well. well I'm gonna have to dry for a little bit. And I guess lastly, let's take a look at this shape that I don't have high hopes for. The camera died right when I unpotted the little shake node, so I used that opportunity to clean the room really quick. Here it is. Are you alive? It's not squishy. It's still red. Why hasn't it done anything? The roots are not very good. They're hollow and dry. Oh, and it's still bleeding. It's still alive. Oh, okay. Feel it up. This is only pink princess wood sticks. I'm gonna put the shake note in this little box. Will it live? I don't know, but it's still red and it's still bled, so. I cleaned up my mess. And everybody's in there. And then here's these guys. I still have to turn their ear back on because it's really loud. But yeah, we did it. And here's my beautiful rug. So pretty. I'm really obsessed with it. I'm tired. It always takes three times as long as I thought it was going to take. I am going to do one last thing before I'm done, which is give everybody a spray down with this because I did see a spider mite on my phone. I didn't see any on the plants. As a preventative, I'm gonna spray everyone in the air garden and in the bin. And I'm also gonna take some upstairs and spray for my Cinque Malvo, who actually does have spider mites. I think they're in my house right now. I'm considering bug bombs. Has anyone ever used bug bombs for spider mites in their whole house? I'm very intrigued. I'm very scared of having a whole home infestation. I have fought both thrips and scale before. I'm about to help someone else fight scale. I really don't want to add spider mites to my resume. I'm sure this was a long one, so if you're still here, I so appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the emotional support eyeballs. This was very emotionally taxing. Very sad about my Gabby. I hope she survives.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.